What's up guys? My name's Sean. If you landed here, you're watching Scar My Guitar. It's been raining like crazy here and I can't run the CNC when it's raining because the power goes out in Florida. Can't really run the power tools when it's raining either because you have to have the door open and the dust in here will kill you if it's closed. I could probably straighten out some of these shelves around here. They sure do need it. That toolbox is pretty messy. I should probably straighten that out, huh? But all that stuff really sounds kind of boring. Yeah, I think we should probably just grab old Kathy right here <laughs> and put together this old 440XC CNC from Fox Alien. Now the first thing I notice as soon as I take everything out of the box of this is that I have a user manual in paperback. That is a very good thing. I also have a package list of all the parts with a picture of each one. Which again in my mind is a big plus. Now to start this job off we're going to need our base, the wasteboard, 6 M5 20 bolts. I've got the necessary screws and your standard 4 millimeter Allen wrench. Let's get them in there. Now for step number two, we're going to be using two times dust baffle, we're going to be using four times M516 bolt. Now I think these dust baffles are an excellent little touch to this machine. And now for part number three, we're going to go to the gantry. We also need four times the M512 bolt four times the M5 spring washer, and four times the M5 regular washer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my gantry, and I'm going to get my Y axis, and I'm going to get them pretty even together. And I'm going to put that in there like that. It's got a little screw here that tightens up the bands. I'm going to use that as something to hold it in place. Put that down there like that. It'll stay up there by itself. We're going to use our standard four millimeter wrench again. But I just wanted to show you our spring washer, it's towards the head of the nut. We want the big washer on the outside. Now I didn't tighten up the other side until I get these bolts in too. That way I'm not moving anything or breaking anything. I got a little wiggle room or slack as most guys like to call it. Man, we're moving right along. Step number four is going to require the Z-axis assembly and four M525 flathead cap screws. And for this, we're going to be using the three millimeter Allen wrench included in the package. Now I'll go ahead and tighten this down so it can hold it in place, but not completely tight. I still want to be able to wiggle it just a little, but I don't want it to bend or break or strip that screw out. We're going to do steps five and step six together. And the reason for that is, is we're going to put the spindle mount with two M555 bolts onto the gantry. And then we're going to put the spindle and two more M555 bolts in that to tighten it and clamp it in place. We're going to use our standard four millimeter wrench. Now for the height on this thing, I'm just going to let it sit right on this. If I pull it up too far, it won't go all the way down with the bit. Say my bit only comes out to here, but it doesn't go all the way down to the workspace. I'm just going to let it sit there. we got plenty of clearance to come up. I'm going to straighten it up as best I can and tighten it down.
I just wanted to point out, this is some very, very dense metal. It's very heavy. Now for number seven, we're gonna be using our Y-axis drag chain bracket. Number 18 Y-axis drag chain bracket and four times the M566 bolt. For these bolts, we're using our standard four millimeter wrench. Now we're on to step number eight. We're gonna be using part number 19 and part number 20. And the last four of your M56 bolts. Next, we're gonna be connecting the drag chains. Now, the thing I really loved about this machine is it came mostly assembled. It's almost what you would call plug and play. All the wires are already inside the drag chain for you. Everything's labeled beautifully. Feels really heavy duty. Can't wait to see how it cuts. Now, for the wiring, everything's just right there coded for you in coloring, and it tells you exactly what it's for and where it goes. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in the Z-axis. Z limiter. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the spindle. The green is the ground. And the red is the positive. We're going to go ahead and plug in our Z axis motor. Next, we'll plug in our X limiter. Next, we'll plug in the X motor. Now for the Y2 motor cable, we're gonna put it up under these cool little clamps that come included right here. You gotta stick your finger up under there and pull that guy out like that. You see that? And then we just plug the Y2 motor in. And last but not least, we're gonna plug in our Y1 limiter, the Y1 motor. The first thing we're gonna plug in is our Z probe. And the reason we're gonna start on the bottom down here so these cables aren't in the way to plug these in later. Now if you notice, there's a little notch in the top of this. You see the little stud right there inside? If you can see that little notch on these, you can pretty much turn them over and get them to slide right in. You're not twisting them around a whole lot. Okay, we finally got it all put together, and I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with how sturdy this machine is. I really like getting this manual. Every other one I've bought didn't come with one of these. It came with some instructions to go online, some poor pictures. This was a really nice change. Now, I know you're probably wondering why I got this machine from Fox Alien and what they would give it to me for. Well, they didn't just give it to me. I had to pay good money to get it. But for a review, they're gonna let me give one of these bad boys to one of my lucky subscribers. Somebody's gonna win one of these machines. I've already showed you how to put it together. And in part two, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna show you how to make a guitar with it. Now let me know in the comments why you need it. I mean, seriously, do you need a CNC? What could you do with it? What would you build with it? Would you just make guitars with it? Would you make wifey a cute little valentine? Or maybe you're a girl and you wanna make hubby something. Now, aside from the giveaway, this is an affordable machine. It's like $9.99 and it comes with the laser module. Now we didn't install that this time because we're gonna do that in a separate video. We're gonna install it and use it in a separate video. I've already turned it on once and heard how it sounds. It's very quiet. 
We're going to have some fun with this guy next time I see you. But I just want to thank you guys for watching. And if you get a chance, share a brother's video. You know what I'm saying? But until next time, don't you touch my scar guitar. Don't you touch my scar guitar.